Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope, that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for their bread. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirit of the disciples and exhorted them to, pers to persevere in their faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed the precipitors for them in each church, and with the prayer, fasting, commended them to the Lord, in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached the Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at the Pergra, they, were, they went down to Attalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived with us, they called the church together and they reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorio Son. Your friends make known, O oh Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your, your friends, friends make known, O oh Lord, the glorious splendor of your, your kingdom. kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O oh Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them be sought of the blood of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your, your friends, friends make known, O oh Lord, Lord the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Make it known to many, make it known to many your right and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your, your friends, friends make it known, O oh Lord, the, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your, your friends make known, O Lord, Lord, the glorious splendor of, of your kingdom. kingdom. Lord. 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. we continue our reflection on the Acts of the Apostles during this beautiful Easter season, we concentrate now on the missionary journey, journeys of St. Paul. We hear today um, that Paul and Barnabas um, suffer, really, for the proclamation of the truth of the gospel. And in affirming the church, St. Paul reminds us as he reminded the church in his day, that suffering of some sort or other will always accompany the proclamation of the gospel. Because we live in a world that is suffering the results of the fallen nature of original sin, there is a certain obstinacy within us, a certain lack of willingness to be open to the revelation of the truth or to accept it as God reveals it, but to put our own parameters on it. I will believe this, or I will accept this so much, but not that. Uh, we kind of, you know, draw lines in the sand, if you will, to say, well, we will accept this much, but we, we, we don't understand, and we can't tolerate that, so we will accept it. St. Paul and Barnabas found that to be the case in their proclamation uh, of the truth, and they were rejected in many places. But they affirmed the church and proclaimed the truth that there always will be a certain rejection, a certain suffering involved in, in proclaiming the truth of Jesus Christ. That has been the case down through the ages, and it is still the case today. Christianity is the most persecuted religion in the world still. Um, there is an obstinacy about accepting the proclamation of the truth that breeds violence at times and actual martyrdom for the sake uh, of Christianity. Here in this country, perhaps, we do, will not suffer that or, or have not so far, but we do suffer a rejection and a persecution and a threat, a threat to religious liberty uh, at times. And sometimes that threat comes from our actual government. We know right now the case before the Supreme Court of the Little Sisters of the Poor who are being compelled by the legislature of our, in our government to distribute uh, contraception and abortifacients contrary to the truth and belief of our faith. Abortifacients particularly that destroy human life and yet it is our own government that is forcing them to do that. And that case is now before the Supreme Court. So we are threatened for our proclamation of faith at times, um, perhaps ridiculed or forced to compromise or try to compromise. But like Paul, we must never ever give in to that, no matter where it comes from, whether it's just the rejection or the ridicule of others, who will not accept our thinking, um, whatever it might be. 
Our thinking is not our own personal opinion. It's the truth of Jesus Christ revealed down through the ages in sacred scripture and in the living tradition and teaching authority of the church under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You know, I think sometimes people think we just make these things up. You know, well, no. Jesus told us that when he returned to the Father, the Holy Spirit would come and teach us all things. That Holy Spirit has been with the church and is with the church right to this very day. And so we open ourselves up to divine truth and divine revelation, and we live it out in the Christian tradition of the Catholic faith. And sometimes that will bring with it rejection, um, ridicule. Uh, St. Paul today encouraged the church to recognize this truth and to be strong. Um, and Jesus today reinforces that in his words in the Gospel of St. John, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You trust in Jesus, our risen Lord, who walks with us and who with the Father sent us the gift of the Spirit to be our guide, our strength, and our hope. Brothers and sisters, let us stay strong always in the faith in the truth of Jesus Christ, in a loving witness to it. We, you know, we proclaim truth in a loving way and invite people to open their hearts and their minds to the acceptance of that truth by our constant and unwavering witness. May the risen Lord Jesus continue to be our strength, our hope, our peace, and our joy. Nourished by his word, let us now bring our prayers and petitions before God, who is merciful and rich in compassion. For the church, the people of God, may the Lord continue to strengthen us in faith and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders, may wisdom and justice guide them in their work for their common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who face chronic illness or pain, may the Lord strengthen and encourage them in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may all our hearts be filled with the peace only Christ can offer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may the Lord grant them eternal joy in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Salvatore Modesto and Edward Giovanni, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our <coughs> special petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear these prayers we bring humbly before you and answer them in accordance with your holy will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We shall give them all to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread it throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, to bear the crowns of Pope, Alfred, our Bishop, and Father Clark. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep for the hope of the resurrection and all of that in the mercy. Welcome them into the light of their face. Come out on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, our spouse, the 
blessed apostles and all the saints of this in front of the angels, we may merit to be for air, eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray now the prayer to combat the corona pandemic. Most merciful and triune God, we come to you in our weakness, we come to you in our fear, we come to you with trust, for you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, Endow caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill. Protect those who are most at risk. Give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died into your eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove all fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your care. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for joining us today and praying with us during this Mass. May we continue to pray for each other, continue to be at peace, trusting in our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world 